this particular project um, has been going on for about four years, and it was just a, uh, a forgotten piece of land and some of the most expensive property in Fairfield County, Greens Farms. And walking down here and looking for birds and owls, and yet not seeing what we used to see because it was so overrun. Uh, today we have a big volunteer day going on, and we planted 150 uh, spruce and pine, and we have gotten incredible uh, donations from Westport. A part in this restoration project for the last three months, planning and picking out uh, native plants to put on the property here to encourage uh, birds to use this site as a stopover and potentially some new breeding birds on the property. It's really been an awesome day. What we're doing here is a complete restoration of this property. It was it originally was onion fields and it had grown up into some really great birding habitat and bird migratory stopover habitat over the years. But the problem is it's gotten overrun with invasives, particularly Asiatic bittersweet, some porcelain berry, even mile a minute vine. And what we've done is we got some funding from the Long Island Town Futures Fund, uh, which is from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, uh, to go in and remove all these invasives, remove all the Norway maples, most of the Norway maples, and to replant with native vegetation that is going to create much better stopover habitat for birds. Uh, what we're trying to do is turn this place into a uh, first-class rest stop on the Atlantic Flyway for migratory birds. We do a bunch of different events throughout the course of the year to help local communities. Today and all across Westport, our, all the members are at different um, sites helping out in different ways. So we have uh, 45 people who showed up today to help plant trees, and I think we planted 100.